<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about the price of diesel fuel. Today, the price of diesel fuel is four dollars and two cents. Yesterday, well, last week it was three ninety. The price of diesel fuel has gone skyrocket. When in fact, the reason that they use the price of diesel fuel has gone up so high is because they say that cars use diesel fuel so now they're charging a road tax for the diesel fuel that the cars use. However, the actual amount of diesel fuel that a car, the cars use on the road is probably one-tenth or maybe one-fiftieth of one percent because the average car that uses diesel fuel uses perhaps get 16 miles to the gallon or 30 in the case of a Volkswagen Rabbit. But chips and trucks and self-propelled barges and ocean liners use diesel fuel by the billions of gallons. So in America on any given day maybe they sell two million gallons of diesel fuel to cars and the other billion gallons a month or two billion gallons a month of diesel fuel go into pieces of equipment like this. So in fact they're charging you road tax for diesel fuel when only one fiftieth of one percent is being used for the road tax itself. The diesel fuel used to be 89 cents when gas was a dollar nineteen so it was always cheaper and it was cheaper because it's a cheaper product to manufacture, store, and stock. So in fact, there's no reason for diesel fuel to be more money than gas other than the fact that they're robbing you. So now instead of making a small amount of money on diesel fuel, maybe 30 cents a gallon, now they're making an entire dollar a gallon and part of that is going to the state. And that is why we are getting ripped off in America for the price of diesel fuel to the tune of, for myself, about 25 gallons a day. So now it's costing us, or people that use a small amount of fuel like myself, it's costing them as much as an extra $25 a day because of the road tax, which is completely outrageous. So. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. And you know why that crutch is there. The crutch is there because I got dragged underneath my truck this morning and got a boo-boo, which you can see now in the sun. And I also got a trolley horse, which was what made me fall under the truck in the first place. So in fact, the trolley horse made me fall down and then I got dragged by the truck and scraped my knee and got a boo-boo. Oh, this is so much fun. This is so much fun. Hello. I didn't. I wasn't able to put sixty dollars worth in, so there would be uh, five dollars and change. You want the receipt back so you can exchange the receipt out? Okay. Hello. Good. Do you have eight pins? What? Do you, do you have eight pins? I have a quarter. Does that help you? No, you can give me that five cents. Five cents. Thank you very much. Do you need the receipt? Oh yeah, I'm sorry. It's okay. I, I I was I'm making a video about the the price of fuel. Okay. Oh, you Thank you very much. The, yeah, the price of fuel went up like thirty cents in the last week. It's crazy. Okay. Have a nice day, dear. Bye bye.
All right, we're about a mile away from the job itself. Okay, this is a trip. All right, first thing we need to do is put away the keys and the money. The second thing we need to do is put the crutch inside the machine. Okay. An hour ago, this wasn't so easy. Might have got worse, it might have got better. One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three. Uh, one, okay. Actually, from driving the machine, my leg loosened up a little bit. Ah, 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 not that much. Not that much. Oh, 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 ah, ah. ah. Oh, that's where I'm having dinner. The crippled backhoe operator. There we go. the famous worldwide sportsman over to the right go ahead we'll give you a view of the worldwide sportsman the mile marker 81 in Ala Mirada. And inside that building, they have a 50 foot, looks like a mahogany boat, mahogany antique boat, with all the original brass and all the original fittings on display inside. And you used to be able to walk into the boat and view all the different things in the boat. Coming up on the right is the famous Green Turtle Restaurant. I don't know when it was put here, but it's been there since very long time. Up ahead, there's a pretty cool bird. It's an Egyptian bird. They don't look like they're in any hurry.
Hello, bird. <laughs>